if it was uh, 1997, a thousand of such people in the movement. <clears throat> and for 20 years, we failed to deal with this matter. Mandasha then raises it in 2017. Same issue. By this time, if it's a thousand every year, it's 20,000. It's an indication of what has happened. An accumulation of a wrong kind of person in the movement because as a movement, we fail to deal with it, unfortunately. So when we talk about renewal of the ANC now, that's a challenge we face. A year, a year or so ago, I was talking to a, a comrade who has just been elected as a provincial chair of the ANC. I was talking to him about renewal of the ANC and some of the challenges and why this thing is necessary. The kind of person in the movement who really ought not to be in the movement. So after this presentation, this comrade says to me, now, now comrade president, in terms of my province, in terms of these people you say should not be in the movement but are card carriers, you are talking about 60% of our membership in my province. The ones I would say are genuinely ANC 40%. So the renewal process then becomes critical. Tammy said, Over Tambo said, uh, we must sweep the movement. And Madiba said, we must purge. Uh, the document that uh, Comrade Percy is talking about from the ANC veterans says, inevitably, if you want to renew the movement, you can't avoid <coughs> getting all of the members of the ANC, starting with the president, to renew their membership. They must apply. I'm renewing my membership. And there's a panel that must process that and say, no, this it's okay. This one can be a member. And that's part of the reason, as Tammy was saying, the 54th National Conference passes resolution, there must be renewal. The 55th the National Conference does the same thing, and nothing happens. The NEC does not act on those resolutions to this day. Why? That's the question I was asking. I'm an ex officio member of the NEC. But when I see that, I'm, I get afraid that if I have to renew my membership and apply and there's a panel that's going to look at me, they are going to say, this one. This one should never have been admitted into the membership. As a result of which I will resist. I will resist this renewal. It's threatening. <laughs> and you can imagine this particular province I'm talking about, where the, 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 the provincial chair says, President, this person, a negative person you're talking about, is 60% of my members. So that's a challenge that's going to face us in the free state. When we say, let us seriously, tell me I'm saying, is going to say tomorrow one of the strategic responses to this counter-revolutionary offensive is the renewal of the ANC. The defense of the revolution, the advancement of the revolution depends critically on the renewal of the ANC. Even the possibility to go to the population in 2026 for local government elections in this world, whom do we present as our candidate? Because the, the, the community in this world, they know everybody. 
Gwede Mandashe was complaining, I think it was local government elections or maybe the national, that uh, when he goes around door to door, he's had many experiences where people say, hey, say la <laughs> So this is a response of the population. So the renewal of the ANC becomes critically important in terms of even that. So when the ANC, the communities who have to elect us in 2008, next two years' time, they must see that this ANC has changed. It has renewed itself. We know that in our community, in our world, there were many wrong people who were members of the ANC. But fortunately, they've removed them. You regain the confidence of the people. That I'm saying that renewal is a critically important part of that regaining of the confidence of the people. There are, there are other things that we need to do. So I'm saying, Comrade Chair, I don't know how you, how you are going to conduct our meeting. Because tomorrow, we must allow time to finish. And it's going, I think, particular challenge is going to be how do we respond to what he will say as to what is to be done? We'll have to come back to Comrade Percy to say renewal. What he says is correct. In reality, to say uh, having swept, once you've done that, this is done how you conduct yourself in the way that he was explaining. But there's this very difficult first step. The most challenging part is not the issues that he was raising. The most challenging part, I'm saying, is to say to me, renew your membership. And I've got a panel which is Tamid and Teni, Pesim Atlati, who are going to examine me. They are going to say, mm -mm, not, not this one. Uh, It's a challenge this province will face, Comrade Mkolis. When we in this province actually want to take on the challenge of renewal of the ANC, the first, very first challenge we're going to face is many, many people in the province, I'm quite sure, who are going to be very, very uncomfortable with that process. But without it, you can't renew the ANC. So, Comrade Chair, I'm saying tomorrow, we listen to Tammy, and then Pesce will have to come back to engage this particular issue of the renewal of membership by every member of the organization. What's the proposal about that? It will help the province to take a decision as to, okay, we're taking on this, this matter of renewal, and these are the practical steps that are required. That, that has to be, I think, our discussion tomorrow, so that by the time we finish, there's some kind of roadmap. Yeah. This major reversal, of the ANC getting 40% in the last national uh, general election. How do we reverse that? That's how Tammy will conclude tomorrow. And it's really going to present a major challenges to the province. Because it's going to require that kind of response. United action on the part of this PEC. Uh, I listened to the provincial secretary, no, not provincial secretary, deputy secretary, when she was presenting credentials and saying so many expected, so many present. I wrote down the figures. And I was hoping somebody would explain why these others are absent. 
I don't know, maybe they are busy, it's a Friday. Uh, or maybe there's another reason. Uh, is this PEC within itself cohesive enough to respond to these challenges, like I'm saying, the challenge of renewal? Because as Tommy said, they, they talked to uh, one of our leaders about renewal process and therefore the need to act. And he said, that particular comrade said, no, but we were elected in a legitimate conference of the so Now you people want to come by the back door, this renewal of yours, to remove us and put yourselves in place. I'm sure a matter like that will arrive, will arise here. Some people will say, ah, this particular faction wants to remove us. But these are the challenges I'm saying that we'll have to respond to. So, a comrade chair, I'm, I'm talking about tomorrow. I would suggest that we allow Tammy to f finish his presentation. We ask Comrade Percy to come back and say, deal in particular with this issue. How, what is it that practically that is being proposed in terms of what is to be done for people to renew membership? that particular element of the renewal process, because it's very challenging, and that will open the discussion for matter for discussion. And then I will come back and talk uh, to join those presentations. Uh, but I think that's how we should do it, uh, Comrade Chair. The unfortunate thing, uh, the, the last thing, is that Comrade Provincial Secretary said, uh, we finish tomorrow, around 12 for lunchtime. Which means we'll have three, four hours tomorrow to discuss really what should be the nub of the, our discussion. So something that must come out, must come out within those few hours tomorrow. So I, I do hope that uh, in terms of our timing, therefore, Comrade Chair, we will, we will take, take on board all of those things. I would suggest my, myself that 12 o'clock is too early tomorrow. And 1 o'clock is again too early. <laughs> but it depends, of course, on people's programs. They have planned, they were told we finish in such and such a time. But these particular outcomes, when Tamin Denton says, in response then to everything that I've been saying for two days, these are the strategic steps that must be taken. And Percy says, therefore, in, in that context, the renewal process means the following. Then when we've got to engage those tasks, I think it'll take a bit of time. But thanks, Comrade Chair. Yeah.